Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving the Windows fail to install the following updates error code 0x800F0831 installation error on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start this tutorial off by opening up the start menu. Select the settings gear icon on the left side where you hover over it. It should say settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the network and internet tile. Select proxy at the bottom of this list. And then scroll down. If the use proxy server is currently turned on, you want to unselect that. So turn that to the off position and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu once again and type in services. Best match should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Locate the background intelligent transfer service and double click on it. Startup type, you want to set that to automatic. And if server status is stopped, you want to select the start option and then select apply and OK. And you want to do the same thing for the Windows Update service. So go ahead, double click on that. Again, automatic. And you want to start that service. Select Apply and OK. Once that's done, you can close out of here. Would suggest restarting your computer, and hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. Another thing you can try would be to open up the Start menu, type in Windows Features. Best match should come back with Turn Windows Features On or Off. Go ahead and left click on that. Make sure that Net Framework 3.5 includes .NET Framework 2.0 and 3.0. Check mark inside that box, or at least just have it filled in with an internal square, and then select OK. Select Let Windows Update Download the Files for you. And it should say Windows completed the requested changes. Select close. Again, restart your computer and hopefully that should have been about it. 
So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.